Well, I think some of the, the, the challenges we, we've had is, is we continue to be a viable organisation, a viable institute that's um, making a difference to industry, um, continuing to offer programmes that are relevant and, uh, and uh, adding value to industry despite the, the uh, difficult economy and circumstances we've found ourselves in over the past 18 or so months. Okay, and what are some of the opportunities that you see in the future? I think clearly some of the, the opportunities are the, um, the railway programs that are, that are moving ahead. So we've got the uh, Praza recapitalization program as well as the, the locomotive uh, recapitalization program within Transnet Freight. Um, so that, that's creating uh, good opportunities with, within the fabrication industry and, and for SRW. And also um, the nuclear program can certainly make a big difference. Um, so that, that uh, represents huge uh, opportunities for our organization as well as industry at large. Okay, and what new qualifications will the SRW make available in the next year? Well, at, at the moment we're um, pursuing our agenda of, of um, introducing more internationally sort of welding qualifications. So, so next year we plan on uh, aligning our SRW inspector program fully with the RW welding inspection personnel program. Um, and as I said, uh, there are further opportunities for nuclear um, qualifications. Um, and we're also looking at upgrading some of our uh, qualifications um, that deal with the petrochemical sector in terms of the APR um, codes and, and standards that, that are currently utilized. Uh, where we'll be making changes in, in, in that respect. Mm -hmm.